All right. Today we're going to start on a little black powder project. This is something that I've wanted to do for a long time, but I've never had the firearm to do it with. <clears throat> this one is actually belongs to a family member. They wanted me to uh, clean it up. So I figure I would uh, make sure everything's good on this one. This one's actually a... Um, a little bit confused on it and I'm still new to all this uh, black powder stuff but some people say this is a 1860 army and some say this is a 1861 navy it does have the navy um, engravings on the cylinder as you can see but I'm told they put that on all of them but first step we're gonna do with this thing is we're gonna take it apart um, it's pretty simple you just take you a uh, something I like to use a uh, plastic tip mallet all right we'll turn it around you see you got a little barrel wedge right here you just want to bump that and then you can take it completely out set it to the side you'll pull your hammer back to half cock drop your ramrod You'll turn the cylinder. Well, just move it back well enough where your your hammer back far enough where you can turn your cylinder, and then you just push down on your ramrod, and you can take the whole barrel off the front. You see, it's already clean. I've cleaned it. Um, and then you just take your cylinder off, and that's basically. The parts to the revolver but what I wanted to do was before I ever shot this is I wanted to take these nipples out and clean them um, and put some anti-seize in them and what we bought I bought a anti-seize stick you can go to the uh, local parts house and get the little tubes of anti-seize you know, whatever you want to do but this was two bucks at Walmart while I was in there so I figured hey what the hell that's basically just some anti-seize compound now I have read mixed reviews on the uh, nipple wrenches for these uh, I didn't even go out and buy one first of all I didn't see one at a big box store anywhere so basically all I did was I took a 3 16 inch deep well socket and I took a Dremel tool put it in the vise and just cut a split down in it just enough and then I cut it open it up a little bit enough with a grinding wheel just where I could get a, a flat bastard mill file in there and I just milled out the grooves and it's not perfect it's not you know I could probably dress it up and make it a little bit nicer but for what it what I need it for it works to just take a regular nut driver with a socket bit and I'm just going to slide this down over the nipples and then I can turn them out and just take this and loosen up every one of them pretty simple to do You don't have to have these He-Man tight. Once I got them all loosened up, you can just take and turn them out like so. As you can see, how that actually fits down inside there. And you get a little bit of trash and nastiness inside these nipples I guess the next thing I need to do is get me a nipple pick but I'll just go through here and I'll take every one of these nipples out and I've heard a lot of people say that you can get these aftermarket nipples put on there that they're a lot better um, I don't know because I've never fired a cap and ball revolver so but we're gonna find out 
how these are. I'm going to take every one of these out. And they say that these things will rust even if you don't fire them and uh this gun is actually i don't think it's ever been fired it doesn't look like it has ever been fired i'll say that but i want to make sure that before we ever start shooting it that we don't have any kind of issue where we can't get the nipples back out of it because that would give you a bad day But first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to get me a little bit of anti-seize on the threads, like so. And then just replace each one of the nipples. Pretty easy to do. You only need just a tad. I'll go through here and do all of these. Tighten them down. Like I said, I just don't want to have an issue where I can't get stuck nipples out. Almost sounds like a porno, don't it? But I just want to get a little bit of anti-seize on the threads. Clean the face of the nipple off. Definitely don't want to cross thread these things. I guess you could use a, a choke tube wrench um, stick or whatever. You just want to put something that's going to keep you from, you know, sometimes black powder, depends on whether you're shooting. I plan on shooting a, a black powder substitute in this. It's not real black powder. Not because I don't want to shoot black powder, but there was none available in my area so I actually got some uh, and you can take and just smear it on with your finger whatever you want to do but uh I was gonna get some go -X. they didn't have anything local and I don't know if any of y'all have ever reloaded I don't really care nothing about shipping um, and paying the hazmat unless you're going to order a big uh, do a big order there's really no sense in ordering and paying hazmat for one pound of powder so typically I buy all mine uh, locally and I went to the uh, local gun store and I bought some uh, Pirate XP and we'll be using that in this gun. Try to drop everything. As you see, we've done Andy seized them, and I'm just gonna take my little homemade nipple wrench. And it just pops right down over the top of the nipple. And I'm just going to snug them up. Like I said I don't want to he-man them in like with a ratchet or something because I'll end up stripping them and they don't need to be super tight 
I mean, you want them snug, but you don't want to strip them off. And once we have all those tight, we'll just simply take our revolver frame and uh, slide the uh, cylinder back on the frame and we'll take our barrel slide it back over the pin like so and then all we have to do is replace our um, barrel wedge and it goes from the screw side on this model it's got a little little retaining tab you just got to put it up underneath that screw like so stutter in the hole just take your plastic mallet oh, I'll make sure it's straight and tap it back into place and I'll take just a regular screwdriver and just turn this screw back down snug. Now we have a functioning revolver. Now we just gotta load that puppy up. And go give her a test shot.